Hey, what do you know? The Destiny bait is coming to an end. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, man. It's about time Bungie ended this long as hell beta and started up the actual Destiny. I mean, the YouTube order has been sitting here for a year, watching my videos, waiting for the real Destiny to be released, fucking himself in the meantime, and now we get the official date, September 15th. Oh, man. Fuck you, Bungie. Seriously, fuck you. Now, without question, the information coming out about the Taken King is exactly what this game needs. Everything wrong with Vanilla Destiny is being fixed in the Taken King. Almost all that bullshit this game put us through is being adjusted. Everything the fans and the critics have railed Bungie for is finally being addressed. And it makes you wonder, doesn't this feel like the game Destiny should have been for over a fucking year now? Doesn't all of this shit happening or changing in the Taken King seem like the game Destiny was intended to be? And that's the problem that I and probably quite a few other people have with the content being rolled out. It looks fantastic. It looks like what I wanted from Destiny one year ago when I bought this shit. And all the changes that Bungie is making to the game are what we needed from day one. So what the fuck have I been playing for the last goddamn year? I've been playing their beta, a paid beta, a hundred dollar version of a beta. Now, I've said this countless times, but Destiny is fun to play, but highly flawed. Playing with friends is the best part about Destiny, and having been with the game since their actual beta, you know, the shit that they rolled out a year ago that I played on PlayStation 3, having been with the game that long gets you frustrated that with all this potential piss down the drain, with all the bad decisions after bad decisions after bad decisions, that now you're finally starting to see shit improve. It sounds great, right? I mean, I stuck with this for one full year. I defended it and I tore a new asshole when necessary, but defended the fun for one full year, only to see all the improvements that I want are going to cost me 40 more fucking dollars. Yes, if I want this game to be great, if I want all their mistakes to be fixed, I need to pay 40 more fucking dollars to enjoy it. Now, some of the things that they are fixing are going to be universal without paying any kind of money. If you don't buy the Taken King, there are certain changes that are coming regardless of whether you purchase it or not. Things like the currency is being changed, Nolan North is going to be taken over as the voice of Ghost and replacing all the lines that Peter Dinklage has. Which, by the way, I think Peter Dinklage got a raw deal on this motherfucker. You know, he didn't write his lines. He wasn't the one actually sitting there saying what his lines were supposed to be. If he wasn't giving context, as to what his lines were supposed to sound like, yeah, of course you're gonna sound like it's just a fucking flat reading. Think about it, if there's somebody there not telling him, you're supposed to sound surprised, you're supposed to sound happy, you're supposed to sound scared, if they don't tell him that shit, what is he gonna do? He's gonna read a fucking line, it's gonna sound like he read a fucking line. To me, the problem was the writing. It wasn't just the voice acting, it was the people that allowed that shit to be that bad, and then all the blame went to fucking Dinklage. I don't think all of that shit was his fault. I think the majority of that shit was Destiny's problem, but now in their place, hey, you know whatever they don't give a shit. Everybody who knows Nolan North knows his work, knows he knows what he's doing, so I'm sure it's gonna be a big improvement on what we had before. But in any event, besides all that shit, the biggest item that players have wanted from day one is finally being addressed. We're getting some story. Holy shit, did you ever think that would fucking happen? <laughs> Destiny is actually getting some form of a story. I mean, fuck the five years of development on this game, the launch date, we're now getting a story after paying $100 for this shit anyways. You know, fuck hiring writers to script the narrative, the plot, the story, the arcs, the premise of this game. Let's save all that money and charge motherfuckers $40 more for DLC to finally get the fucking story. And in the story, we're actually getting cutscenes, skippable cutscenes that explain what the fuck is going on. Right now, all we depend on were disembodied voices or narrations of what the fuck was happening. Hey, I need to kill a large ogre. Why? Because our core array told me so. I have to fight some fat space turtle with a big fucking machine gun. Why? Because Commander Zavala told me so. Fuck yeah, let's fight. Skolas is a badass motherfucker. How do I know that? Because Petra told me so. I don't know any of this shit other than what people are telling me in fucking narrations. But now, we're going to be getting some cutscenes. And in addition to the biggest letdown that this game had with the absence of an actual story, some of the other major knocks against the game are being addressed as well. Even shit that I said the game needed back when I did that quick blueprint series on the motherfucker is finally being fixed. I mean, basically, it's like, how to fix destiny step number one don't let bungie have the game anymore step number two don't let activision determine the price <laughs> great first two steps but some of the major issues i suggested back in the day are now being addressed in the gameplay for starters the leveling up system is becoming normal holy shit it took one fucking year to realize this armor shit was fucking stupid instead of your armor determining what level you are now we're just getting a straight one through 40 ranking system like every other fucking game on the planet that was ever created jeez how fucking hard was that to figure out 
cooldowns for your powers are now being listed in time increments as opposed to this percentage bullshit. Oh, I have 100 discipline and 94 intellect. The fuck does that mean? Not a goddamn thing. Now I know my grenades are coming back in three seconds. Crucible and vanguards are finally being combined into one category, just like I said that they should have been. Armor materials are being combined so that we don't have three separate ones for three classes and shit. Bounties are being updated and changed as well, like I said. Emblems and shaders are now unlimited. The gunsmith has a reputation meter and purpose with the ability to test guns out. Supposedly, the horrible loot system is being improved so that you don't get the same shit all the time, but we'll see if that bullshit actually happens. <laughs> Destiny already said that they were working on the RNG system and sure enough, we still got the same fucking shit. But anyway, Cryptarch is supposed to be more reliable. Yeah, they said that the last time too and he's still a worthless fuck. Factions no longer need you to wear their shit in order to be part of that particular faction to get a new subclass. Each character will perform a different mission. Finally, some differentiation between the three motherfuckers that we have. Right now, they basically feel the same. You play the same exact mission in the same exact way, but now we're seeing some separation of the three classes to make it feel like three unique different loadouts. Some of the other changes that they're making, I really don't give a fuck about one way or another. I'm not happy or pissed off about it, like turning every mission into quest. I mean, the bullshit looks like you're doing the same shit, only now they put a checklist connected to it. <laughs> It's like, kill this motherfucker, visit Petra, kill this motherfucker, visit Varix. Big fucking deal, I'm already doing that in the goddamn game, and all you're doing is putting a fucking exclamation point over each place I need to visit. It's not like you're making a fucking difference in the game. Basically, I'm doing the same damn thing. We're also getting some more dance moves, you know, big fucking deal. We're also getting some more exotics, which were expected, some crucible shit, some strikes with bosses that won't just be bullet sponges. They'll have mechanics, but then they'll probably still be bullet sponges. <laughs> And of course, the castration of year one weapons and armors. Well, I would love to tear Bungie a new asshole over that one. I'm not going to do it in this video. I might do it in another video because that's the kind of shit that pisses me off as well as some other players. But I'll save that anger for another day because my bigger issue is that I feel used. I feel like a lab rat being tested on to see if shit works. And now that shit didn't work, they want to fix it. Except this time... They expect me to pay more so they can fix it. I played a flawed game. I played an empty game. I played an incomplete game. And now they want to finally give fans what they're asking for. They want a $40 price tag to fix all the mistakes that they made. In all honesty, the Taken King feels like what I should have paid for in the $60 product. I was one of the lucky few people that didn't pay for a season pass. Don't get me wrong. As I said, one of my subscribers, he didn't want to play this shit anymore. He decided to move on from the game. He gave me his season pass. Probably the smartest move he ever made. <laughs> So I personally haven't paid as much as other people, but to ask me to pay $40 more, to ask international players to pay way more for this DLC than the regular game, or even more than this for complete games that are going to be coming out, is a fucking slap in the face. You know, I played your beta. I tested this shit out for you for over one fucking year, and it's back to the fuck you pay me again scenario. I'll tell you right now, I don't blame players one bit for looking at the Taken King content, liking what they see, but saying, hell fucking no, I ain't paying for that shit. The $60 product needed to work. The $100 product needed to work. And now the work is finally here and they want 40 more fucking dollars for it. Shit, only Star Citizen has been a bigger scam than Destiny. <laughs> oh man, one day, one day I'm going to unleash the wrath of hell on that fucking company because I have never seen a company do more fucked up shit than those cocksuckers. And that includes Bethesda and Treyarch. I'm telling you right now. Chris Roberts, Cloud Imperial Games, you have it coming one of these days in the fucking future. Oh, hell yeah. Don't think you won't escape my wrath, motherfuckers. But anyway, getting back to these scumbags, I want to play the Taken King. I want to see what Destiny was supposed to fucking look like. But given that these fuckers want more money, just pisses me off. All of this could have been fixed during the fucking year, but instead, we get stuck with an empty shell of a product that's basically meant to be Activision's next cash cow. For those who left the game and never came back, probably the smartest fucking thing you could have possibly done. Depending how many of my friends pay for this overpriced piece of shit and the reviews that come out, I'm still debating whether or not this fucking thing is worth it. You know, Activision got me all year long with this damn beta. And now that it's finally ending, now that the beta is finally coming to a close and they're actually rolling out what Destiny's supposed to look like, it honest to God feels like a giant kick in the dick. And I'm sure there are plenty of other people who look at this shit and say, wait a second, what the fuck did I just play for an entire fucking year? I played an incomplete product and now they want to fix all the fucking things that were wrong with the goddamn game and make us pay more. Granted, I understand the Taken King is going to have new content. I understand certain things in the game are going to be fixed. But how come we don't get older cutscenes? How come they don't fix older cutscenes? How come they don't go back and say, you know what? We fucked up in some of these areas. We're going to allow you to do these missions over and 
give you more explanation as to what the fuck just happened. We're gonna give you some cutscenes that go back to the dark below that explain Crota. We're gonna give you some cutscenes that explain Eris and what the fuck happened when she tried to take on Crota. We're gonna give you some more cutscenes as to what the Reef Wars look like when you bought the House of Wolves. We're not getting any of that. All we're getting is new content in relation to Oryx in order to keep this whole cash cow going. And to be honest, it really makes people who've played this game for an entire year wonder, what the fuck have we been doing all this goddamn time? <laughs> Oh man, fucking shit. But anyway, that does it for this video. Also, for those who don't know by now, over on the Prestige Gamers channel, I've already started the reverse hipfire commentary videos. Yesterday, the first one went up, and it came from someone who has been banned on my channel from the hipfire commentary series, A7X Drum Covers. He did a whole video on Destiny. He's never played Destiny, but he decided to do the commentary for it, return the video. I posted it up for those interested. You guys can go check it out. It's the Prestige Gamers YouTube channel. You can just Google it or whatever the fuck you want. You'll be able to find that video. So as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit, and I'll see you guys in the next video.